Okay, today we're gonna to have a quick look at mitosis, and mitosis is really the, uh, the process of cell division. Uh, so how a cell might go from having one cell to having two cells. And all organisms need to do this uh, for growth, uh, but also uh, for repair, so it's repair of damaged cells. Um, what's important to consider is, in this process, uh, the chromosomes contained in, the, the, in each cell, uh, we need to make an exact copy for each of the resulting cells. Okay, it's those chromosomes that have the instructions uh, for the cells to function. So the, these, these structures in the cell, the chromosomes, as we know, are made up of um, a tightly wound molecule of DNA. It's wrapped around these histone proteins, uh, and it's really super coiled, um, and you have a number of those chromosomes. Each one of those chromosomes goes through this process. Um, it's, a, it's a single chromosome just before um, the cell divides, it replicates, uh, and it's the exact copy. So one side here is exact copy on the other side. And then that allows it to split, and one of the resulting cells will just end up with one of those single copies. Okay? So the chromosomes can either be in their normal state, or they can be in their replicated state. And when they're in the replicated state, just before cell division, they have this classic sort of X shape. Now it's important to remember that um, we as humans have 23 pairs of, of chromosomes. So we've ac actually got 46 chromosomes. And that process of replication is happening for each of those 46 chromosomes. So each of those chromosomes is making this X shape. And the result will be that we'll end up with an exact copy of each of these chromosomes. So for example, if we consider this number one chromosome here, you end up with one of those uh, so sides of this replicated chromosome and one of those replicated sides of the chromosome in the new cell. Okay, an exact copy of both of the number one chromosomes. So let's look at this original diagram again and what, what we see happening is we go into this replicated state, this X state, um, the chromosomes will split and so we'll end up with one of each of the types of that particular chromosome. And we, right here we might be just be looking at that number one chromosome we talked about before. The important thing to remember is that that's actually happening for every single chromosome. All 23 pairs of chromosomes do this exact same process. So let's just review this in our cell cycle here. And, um, and, and really the process we'll be talking about today is mitosis here, uh, which is just one small part of a, a cell's life. Um, that, that right after the mitosis, that divisions occur, we have cytokinesis, which is where it actually the cytoplasm divides into, into two and we get two separate cells. Following that, we go through a growth phase and the cell actually just grows and develops and gets bigger. The next stage is this synthesis phase and that's where we have those duplicated chromosomes, those replicated chromosomes forming that um, X shape. Um, and then we have a second growth phase where the, um, the chromosomes really condense and develop and get ready for, for what's about to happen in mitosis. Okay? And then we go through mitosis and the same process actually happens again. Okay? Each of those resulting daughter cells go through cell division again. So the stages of mitosis um, are interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, which results in cytokinesis. So let's have a look at those little phases. Um, a good way to remember the order of them here is IPMAT or IPMAT. So we'll look at these in a bit more detail, but basically we're going through the process of starting with um, our pairs of chromosomes and each cell having those same pairs of chromosomes. For our starting cell here, we might have our two number one chromosomes, the green ones, and our two number two chromosomes. So just two pairs of chromosomes in this picture. And each of them are going to um, replicate and then divide into the separate cells. So there's a copy in each of the, the daughter cells. So let's have a look in a bit more detail. First off, interphase. And we can see um, what, what's important is that DNA starts to replicate um, and the chromosome replicates. And we can see that happening by the time we get to, 
to prophase here. We have these X structures for each. Okay? And as we enter proper prophase, what we see happening is the DNA continues to condense. Um, the nuclear membrane breaks down and these chromosomes spread throughout the cell and the nucleolus disappears. As we head towards metaphase, and this is a phase that some people refer to as either late prophase or in between prophase and metaphase, it's called prometaphase, um, the chromosomes attach to these spindle fibres um, that are, have come out of the centromeres. The centromeres go to the poles or either end of the cell, and these spindle fibres grow out of them. And they attach uh, with a, a group of proteins called kinetochores onto the centromeres, the middle part, of the chromosomes. So the middle of the chromosomes is attaching to these spindle fibres or these microtubules that are coming out of the centromeres. And that's what's going to move the uh, chromosomes around the cell. The first stage will happen is each of the pairs will line up in the middle of the cell. Okay? And we call that metaphase. They're lining up in the middle. Our next stage is anaphase. And the and that's where the spindle fibers and the kinetochores actually wind these chromosomes, these uh, little proteins, the fancy little proteins actually wind the, the, uh, the chromosomes down the spindle fibers. Um, and, and it drags the chromosomes to uh, it, the, the poles of the cells. So they go to other, other ends. The next stage is telophase. And that's where they're actually form it, forming separate cells. Okay. Um, the nuclei start to reform and the cell really starts to divide. And cytokinesis is actually the process where we have, where we have that cleavage of the cells and we actually start to get two separate, separate or uh, independently functional cells. Okay, so we've gone through our process of IPMAT, interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. Okay? And that's our process of mitosis. So to, to remember those, I suppose, the way I work through it is I think interphase is in between. And, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm relating the, the eyes there. Prophase is where the chromosomes get prepared. They, they condense and replicate. Um, metaphase is when they're going into the middle of the cell. Um, and anaphase, they're going to another end. Telophase is, well, they're in separate cells now. They're so far apart, they'd have to telephone each other. So, it mat. So let's have a look at this for real. We're just going to have a look at, um, you know, a place where this really occurs in root and shoot tips. Uh, we're going to have a look at onion tip here. Um, and if we have a look at a few um, cells here, we can actually see this, this happening. Um, let's have a look at what we can see. Interphase, we can actually see a distinct nucleus. In prophase, that nuclear membrane is broken down. The chromosomes are becoming quite defined and distinct and actually forming these X shapes as well. And then we see metaphase where they're lined up in the middle of the cell here um, with those spindle fibres. Um, we go to anaphase and they start getting transported to the other end, dragged by, you can see them being dragged by that centromere um, and the kinetic core along the, the microtubules to the other end. And telophase, uh, that's where they're at separate ends and we start to get this division between the cell. Um, and at the end of telophase, we'll actually get this cell membrane forming in between the two cells. Okay, and we don't see it all happening at the same time. When we look at it, we'll be able to um, look at the onion, onion, onion tip and we can see cells all at different stages at any particular time. Uh, looking here, we can see some cells there at anaphase. Uh, this one here at prophase. Um, these, these ones also at anaphase. Um, these ones here at metaphase lined up in the middle. These two cells look like they've just recently gone uh, undergone cell division. Whereas these ones here, I can see cytokinesis just happening. Uh, so this is a great shot showing cells all at different stages. So hopefully that's helped with understanding mitosis. Uh, enjoy studying mitosis. Uh, don't forget IPMAT. Um, good luck.